Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Doorway. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Google Search Console and I'm going to walk you through a Google Search Console dashboard. So what is Google Search Console and why is it so important? Search Console was originally known as Google Webmaster Tool for nearly a decade till Google rebranded it as Google Search Console in 2015. With each new year, Google has added new features and data to track in Google Search Console. The Search Console is one of the best tools to troubleshoot your website errors and maintain pages on Google search results. It's the most powerful and free SEO tools out there. But most people never use this for anything more than just checking vanity metrics like clicks and impressions. So if you have a website and you want to see or to know how Google views your website or you want to submit new pages or blog posts to Google so that they start showing up on Google search results, then you should definitely sign up for Google Search Console. Like I said, it's a free platform for anyone with a website to monitor and optimize for organic presence. That includes viewing your referring domains, mobile website performance, rich search results, and highest traffic queries and pages. So I'm going to walk you through a dashboard in this video and in the next video I will show you how to set up um, set up your website on Google Search Console. So this is a dashboard of Google Search Console. This is how it looks. On the left you will see overview, performance and URL inspection and under indexing you will see coverage, sitemaps and removals. Under experiences you will see page experiences, core website with its mobile usability. Under enhancements you will see breadcrumbs, products, review snippets and site search box. There are more tools out there but in this video I'm going to keep it very brief. Starting up with overview you will see the performance of your total web search clicks. So you will see over here 52,896 is the number of web search clicks of this website. Under coverage you will see I have 209 valid pages and two pages with errors. So it clearly shows how many pages are valid as per Google and how many are error. If I click on open report, Google also identifies and shows what those errors are and how you can fix those errors. And experience, which is the third feature tab over here, you will see page experiences. You will see good core website visits. So I'm, this website is failing in core website vitals and under mobile usability, it's 113. Under enhancements, which is the fourth feature, you will see breadcrumbs valid 114 review snippets 88 and site link search box 114 so let's go and check out performance first up by default it shows three months of performance this is the date which it shows so if you click here then you can check for seven days 28 days six months and anything custom that you would like so for the last three months my website has received 1.98 million impressions so it has shown up on google 1.98 million times that's an impressive number for three months if i choose last 16 months and click on apply it'll fetch the number it goes to 6.24 million total number of clicks out of these 6.24 million was 197,000, which equals to 3.29 percent ctr click-through rate average position that my website was showing up was on 9.8 so around 10th position here you will see um, this uh, the, the numbers over here individually for each date if I click on CTR then this uh, a new graph is added over here if I also click on average position then it's also added over here and you can see all the four different variables which with each date Similarly, in the search type, this is on the web. As you know that on Google, you have all images, videos, news. These are the four more, uh, three most important uh, features or tabs which are out there on all Google pages. That's what it shows over here. If I click on web, image, video and news. So I can compare and I can also compare web with image. So for example, here I want to see how many times my image shows up. Then I can click on apply and the number will automatically change to 1.58 million with 9.9k views clicks if i click on video then apply then it goes down to 12.5 thousand 
but the CTR has increased to 1.3 percent so and if I compare let's say I compare image with video I want to see how my uh, performance business site performance was web versus video if I click on apply then it will show the comparison between web and video over here so um, image versus video I beg your pardon image is 1.58 million times so if you put in any website over here and click on images so these are the images you will see and these are the videos so how many times how many impressions my video got and how many impressions my images got versus how many clicks my video got versus how many clicks my images got and the corresponding CTR rates and average positions so this is very important data and something which you can uh, download and export you see the export button over here on the top if you click on export you can export it to Google Sheets you can download Excel or CSV and you can uh, you can add this in your monthly SEO data to show it to your management or your boss further down you will see the queries and you will see all the queries all the keywords that people are using to uh, which they are using on Google and when your uh, website shows up so and you will also see the pages which pages are showing up more similarly also the countries so if you see these are the countries in which my data is showing up my website is showing up and you can also see the devices so on mobile device versus desktop versus tablet so clearly mobile is performing better than desktop and tablet over here similarly search appearance and dates which dates my um, how many impressions we have got so this might look like a little bit um, very date high data to consume but that's because I'm putting it in compare mode if I just click it on filter and click on web and apply then you'll see a clear structured data so here it is so on August 6 which was yesterday I got 19,584 impressions with 451 clicks and 2.3 percent CTR so that way you will know what which dates are performing well or which days whether it is weekend that you're getting good uh, impressions or weekdays you can also use this data to see holiday period for example if you are a beach resort or a hotel or any industry or business which runs mostly on holidays year ends let's say then you will get more impressions and more clicks versus blackout dates or, or low season dates so that way you will know uh, very clearly which are the dates that are performing well and which months are performing well so you, here you can see that for example uh, August 4th I've got 18,447 uh, impressions but at the same time if I come down to July 23rd 22nd I've got more impressions over here and then it goes down from July 19th July 18th I've fallen down to 16,000 impressions so here again it's 15,000 impressions so that way you will know uh, which date or which month is having what kind of uh, impressions and what are the search results on Google so this is about performance there's more to it um, it's not just what I've shown you there's so much which you can identify and really formulate you know what to do coming to next URL inspection this is you can put in any website of your choice in your website and then just you know uh, see what that uh, data is fetching next is index coverage so over here you will see the errors of all the known pages all submitted pages I am being shown two errors in this one issue valid are 209 pages and excluded are 1.8k here you will see error server error not started and submitted 404 not found next is sitemap submitting sitemap is very important I have already made a video on sitemap so my sitemap have sitemap has been successfully submitted as you can see and google has identified and discovered 188 different urls so you can click over here and see index coverage you will see all of these over here removals if you want to remove any particular page you can put in a new request and you can put the url here and remove this url or remove all urls with this prefix uh, and you can also clear cache url this is something which you need to do when you need to identify remove that particular url or that prefixed url from google search results you don't want that web a page web page or blog page to show up on google search results when anybody searches 
next is experience if you click on page experience you will see uh, unfortunately for me it's showing your site has no experience with a good page experience uh, but that's because uh, the core web vitals is showing 78 failed urls and page experience signals mobile usability no issues detected https it's covered completely so this is something which i have to work on uh, so that you know it gives me good rating over here so you can see how good uh, on page especially uh, Google Search Console works. It shows you um, what the it identifies basically what pages are not working well. What are the issues with your website? Uh, mobile usability again valid 114 pages and no errors. Coming to enhancements breadcrumbs again there are no errors. This is mostly technical side of things and so if you have in your department or in your company a web developer. Uh, you can give this work to them whenever you find any error as digital marketers our our job is to check the performance tab mostly and just identify which pages are doing well and what are the clicks and impressions and which which pages search appearance it's um, showing up what are the device which countries and what dates are going well so in my next video i'm going to set up i'm going to list my website domain and uh, set up google search console so that's it for this video if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any questions please do write in the comment section and i'll appreciate if you can subscribe to my youtube channel thank you